So I'm going to first show you guys the free option, which is Windows Live Movie Maker. Now this is not a very very in-depth editor, um, so you won't find a lot of the more you know hardcore effects such as you know picture in picture um, and anything really in-depth. But for a lot of people, if you're just you know just just doing a couple of copy and paste just to put a couple of clips together, um, you need just you maybe like a music and like some uh, like a slideshow or something. Movie Maker will be just fine for you, and of course it is free. Um, and if you're interested in going ahead and getting it, I will have the link in the description. So guys, it works very simply. Let's go ahead and just add uh, pictures or video. So let's go ahead and jump over here. And I already have the intro to the video. So let's go ahead and just drop this in. Give it just a second. As you guys can see, it's a pretty decent interface. Um, it's nothing amazing. Uh, the one thing I will mention though is that while Live Movie Maker, it's if you're a beginner, it's really pretty si simple to get. Actually, if you've ever used you know any more uh, in-depth editors, it actually is kind of a little bit confusing. So I'll go ahead and try to explain it to you. So basically, this is the clip. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and add music. We can do a lot of different things, such as title, credits, etc. But we're going to go ahead and just cut this down. So what we can do, we can just scrub through here, um, just pick out whatever time I want. So let's say that's it. I'm not going to really do it all the in depth. Let's come here to video tools. We can hit split. And let's go ahead and just get rid of this first part. So this is where the video starts. And let's just say, for example, this is where the video ends. Of course, guys, you know, I'm just, just giving you a really brief example. So here's our video. We can go ahead and scrub through it. Um, if we, like I said, if we want to, we can go ahead and add some animations between different things. So, you know, it could fly, slide in, et cetera, et cetera. We can also do visual effects, so we can go ahead and make make it look a little bit different but yeah it's not a big deal so guys that's really Windows Live Movie Maker in a nutshell you can do um, some pretty decent things I'm not really gonna go into everything um, there are a couple of decent things though you can go ahead and actually just click this button and actually have it render and put it up on YouTube without even having to deal with it so that's a kinda nice feature um, you can go ahead of course and just render it in high definition or really whatever you feel like but guys that's Live Movie Maker if you know if you need something really basic bare bones nothing really all that fancy and everything then this is definitely something you might want to check out okay guys so now for the more advanced users this is Coral Video Studio Pro X3. Um, so this is my video editor. I've used this for quite a while, and I really, really do like it. Um, basically, a lot of you guys will probably know of the program Sony Vegas. Well, this is very similar to Sony Vegas Pro 9, only that it does about 90% of what Vegas does for about $500 less. So I think that's a good compromise. Um, generally, Coral, of course, it does cost. Um, generally, you can get it on Amazon. I'll have the link in the description if you're interested. Um, for about $70 or so. For, for a video editing suite, this is not that bad at all. So let's go ahead and just give you guys a brief tour. Um, now, like I said, Video Studio is quite a bit more advanced. I'm even going to try to you know explain everything, but I'll just show you how to edit a very simple clip. So basically, we have our full video thing here. So we can go ahead and just scroll through videos. Let's go ahead and just look for one. So let's, again, let's grab that same clip as before and just drag it down to the timeline. Now this actually does support quite a few different uh, advanced features. So for example, picture in picture. Let's go ahead and just grab this D3 gaming intro, drag it in here. So then, if we want, just anchor it at the top left. So then, if we want, we can go ahead and play it and you'll see that we have two different videos running at the same time so there you go guys if I wanted to I could go ahead and render that of course that's not what I want to do but just as a really brief uh, description showing you guys how that works so again we can go ahead and just scrub through wherever we want so again let's just drop a cut right here and delete this first part so that looks good and let's scroll down and let's say that's 12 seconds of the video we want and that's that now there are several other things we can go ahead and do photos so let's go ahead and take my watermark just drag it down here and again using the picture in picture so let's just put it on the bottom right that looks good um, let's see what else do we, what do we want to do um, let's go ahead and just add a random title so let's just drag and drop this down to the title tab and again guys I don't really want to get too in depth. I'm just going to show you a brief, you know, a brief thing showing you how to do this. So actually, that that's good. So let's go ahead and just take a look at our video. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a look at the project. And there we go. So of course, guys, nothing that um, exciting, but there is quite a few things Video Studio will let you do. Um, you can go ahead. There are quite a few different effects. Um, like for example, Auto Sketch is actually something a lot of people like. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour. It actually it's Pretty cool. So as you see, I actually will sketch out the video, which is a really, really cool feature. I love about that. It's not, of course, you know, the most useful thing in the world, but yeah. 
And obviously you can go ahead and do music, you can do transitions, there's lots and lots of transitions. So guys, Coral Video Studio Pro X3 is a fantastic program. Um, now, of course, you still might need something more in depth. You might need Sony Vegas, for example. But again, that runs you well over $500, where this is about $70. So, you know, you can just weigh it out. But personally, between just the interface is pretty decent. It's not really hard to understand. It's really very simple. You can drag and drop most things. I really do like Coral Video Studio Pro. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a really quick recap. So we just took a look at Windows Live Movie Maker, which is a decent free tool. It's not amazing. It won't do a lot of the more in-depth video editing, but if you just need to cut a couple of clips, you know, edit it really quickly, then it's definitely a really good pr choice, and obviously it is free. On the other hand, if you need something more in-depth, I do recommend Coral Video Studio Pro X3. Um, so it's something I use. I've edited my videos on it for quite a while, and before I got it, I used its predecessor. So I really do like it, and I definitely like that while it is does cost about $70 or so, that's not too bad considering that other more in-depth editors that won't do a whole lot more do cost quite a bit more. So guys, if you want, go ahead and just check out one of these two programs. Of course, you might need something more in-depth. So you might need Vegas or you might need some other program. But for most of you, one of these two programs will probably work. At any rate, guys, I do want to thank Tech Tech Man TV for helping me out with the Mac side. So, guys, definitely go ahead and check his channel out. He's a great guy, and uh, I really appreciate helping me out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.